Welcome to this video, Fundamentals and Markers that Proof the Amaranth as the Ancestor of All Humans. When one looks for the ancestor, one should use science, and that means the relevant markers and fundamentals. All relevant fundamentals and markers point to the Americas as our origin and ancestor. Some fundamentals point to the Amazon forest, while that is more specific it remains totally in line with South America and the Americas. This means that consensus should urgently have a new look at the fundamentals and markers and inform and if necessary explain its findings to the general public, especially if the result would be different from what the general public thinks or is convinced of, especially if this is because of former information from and by consensus and or science, something which is probably the case. Paradigms or scientific questioning. Some certain quite long time and common theories or hypotheses that claim that another continent other than the Americas is the origin of all humans, present serious paradigms, and the number and the seriousness of the paradigm seem to increase according to the progress that science makes especially when it comes to ancient DNA. Especially research and video publication done by David Reich in 2021. Consensus should urgently look into this growing number of serious paradigms. And next, once again, inform and if necessary explain to the general public, especially if the result would be different with what the general public thinks or is convinced of, especially if this is because of former information from and by consensus and or science, something which is probably the case once more. In cases that consensus would not correct eventual wrong information, that this is not a good thing, and there are parties that could suffer even more serious and irreversible damages because of this. Among the parties that could suffer damages because of not correcting not sufficiently correct information are ethnic groups, cultures and last but not least the environment, climate and the planet and consequently all humans. Recessive blood group and recessive genes as important marker. Presented and in focus in this video are images that show the distribution map of the blood groups, especially the one that regards blood group O, map of group O, Wikimedia Commons, 2023. A group, like also a haplogroup, that presents a recessive blood group or recessive gene for all of its population is the origin of its own group by default. Blood group O is such a recessive blood group and is related to a recessive gene. And if a group cannot have another origin then as a consequence this group is the origin of all humans by default. In other words blood group O is the origin of all humans. Further blood group O is associated with haplogroup Q and again in other words both blood group O and haplogroup Q are the origin of all humans. If there is a pattern of spreading out from the origin, or the place of origin, also called cradles, then this confirms the group as the origin of all humans. This pattern does not exist in any other continent or area of large enough scale other than the Americas. This pattern exists in the Americas and in our first example of recessive blood group O. Pointing to O blood type in the legend, which is the same as blood group O. Further this pattern is temporarily and spatially associated with the spreading out from the origin or origin cradle in the Americas. Pointing to the Amazon forest in South America. O blood type in the legend, which is the same as blood group O. As said the origin or origin cradle lies in. The Americas. Pointing to the South, Central and North America, or. Initially rather locally in the Amazon forest which is located in South America. Pointing to the Amazon forest in South America. Observation. The Amazon forest is of a continental or near-continental scale. The Amazon rainforest is about three-quarters the size of Australia. Pointing to Australia and then back to the Amazon forest. The Amazon rainforest is 5.5 million square kilometers in area, whereas Australia is 7.5 million square kilometers in area. The pattern or the migration or spreading out of blood group O is from South to Central and then North America. Pointing to South, Central and North America. 1. Australia and New Zealand. Pointing to Australia and to the route starting on the west coast of South America to Australia and New Zealand through the South Pacific route and gyre. 2. Siberia. Pointing to Siberia and to the route starting on the north coast of North America to Siberia through the Arctic route with dog etc. sleds and possibly kites over the ice, roughly 4,000 kilometers at relatively the highest speed and one of the shortest distances amongst all transportation forms between the Americas and the rest of the world. 3. Central Africa. Pointing to Africa and to the route starting on the east coast of South America to Africa through the South Atlantic route and gyre, and Iceland. If this is a first reading and you have not studied blood groups and their maps yet, 
I recommend you finish this video now and assist other videos or ebooks of mine that explain this very interesting blood group marker in more detail. If you want to dig a bit deeper and want to see confirmations of the above please go ahead until the end of this video. Later reductions because of later turnovers. The reduction of the blood group O frequency is due to population turnover events after the initial spreading of blood group O. Blood group A. The turnover with blood group A is quite clear in the map of blood group A. It is relatively clear that blood group A did not come out of South America and also never went to it. It is relatively clear that blood group A did not come out of Africa either and also never significantly went to it. It is possible that blood group A came out of North America and went to parts of Greenland and Western Europe through the North Atlantic Gyre and to Australia through the combination of the North Pacific Gyre and the South Pacific Gyre, which is one movement altogether and one of the earliest routes. Blood group B. The turnover with blood group B is quite clear in the map of blood group B. It is relatively clear that blood group B did not come out of South America and also never went to it. It is relatively clear that blood group B did not come out of Africa either and also never significantly went to Africa. It is possible that blood group B came out of North America and went to Siberia through the Arctic route over the ice route and next to India and Pakistan and East Asia which is one movement M altogether and one of the earliest routes. The same route and migration are confirmed by haplogroup QM242. In other videos it is explained that blood groups and haplogroups are supposed to be associated, and when they are not, a paradigm is the case. Death zone Siberia east to the Yenisei River in the direction of Beringia. As said, blood group A nor blood group B present indices of coming out of Africa. When crossing Asia, the Africans or Homo sapiens should have picked up quite a lot of blood group B and they clearly did not. These are strong arguments against a crossing of Beringia and or a stay of thousands of years in or close to Beringia. Reductions and turnovers. These reductions and other details are presented in a next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.